Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is the bird's eye view, and uh, this I am Warduck. I am here with Mr. Crow. Hello, everybody. Good and, to see you. And we're a little off kilter today. Not yes. neither of us are feeling one hundred percent. But um, you know, gotta keep going. Gotta keep the grind on. But uh, so <sighs> we've been talking a lot about like privacy, and then you know the yeah. the red wave, the Democrats being on the outside doing things but like as another look at our society and what we're doing and what we think we have is our own privacy and our own rights and things like that well yeah, yeah we, we, we don't what happens <laughs> is you get involved with these companies and apparently they just give away your right or i don't want to say your rights but they just give away your yeah. information and your right to privacy whether yes. you realize this or not. So what we came across was Amazon at it again. And, um, you know, like I've heard a lot of stuff about breaches with the ring, privacy breaches with mm -hmm. the ring, about um, people that work for them selling videos. And anyway, this, this particular article caught me off guard because I didn't realize... That Amazon was so in bed with police. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Reading this, I definitely didn't think they were. Yeah, that kind of caught me off guard too. So Amazon, in their in their, you know, any 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 time you do something with Amazon, like the Ring or or something like that, they you know have their, oh, you know, we don't sell your information, we don't give it away, blah blah blah, must have a warrant, blah 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 blah. All right, but in reality, that is not the case. So they no. actually have a form that um, that uh, if you buy an Amazon Ring camera, an Amazon Echo, there's a website where law enforcement can fill out a form, say that there's a life-threatening emergency, and get access to your data without your consent, without a court order, and without any kind of warrant. Correct. There's nothing in the terms of service about this. The company has maintained for years that it helps police get consent first, but that's not true. No. That is not true. So, um, it says that over the past seven months alone, Amazon has provided the Ring videos to law enforcement 11 times. I find that a significantly small number and i <laughs> bless you and, and i think that is probably um a, a complete under exaggeration yeah um but the ring says it it you know it will not share customer information with law enforcement absent a consent warrant or extingent or emergency circumstances but fall, they think it falls under the emergency then yeah, but that's the thing is it's like it's like it's you know, with that opinion. old saying is is emergency on yours it doesn't necessarily exactly. constitute an emergency on mine, right? Like mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Like I ran out of toilet paper. Well that's an emergency to me. But that that's may not be an emergency to you, right? <laughs> you know, you know that's that's a it's yeah, a exactly. it, it might be funny, but that's kind of the, it, you know the truth about it is who's making these decisions because that's Yep. It's not it's not a judge making these decisions. It's no. just somebody random. Well, apparently it's just the police. The police are like, "Well, I think it's an emergency, so I'm going to put in the form and get the information." Very interesting. interesting. I I just I just didn't really realize that Amazon was so in bed with the police. I mean, I guess maybe I should have and they're very much in in bed like how you're putting it they're very much in bed they they have signed agreements there with we it's a very small amount as we discussed you know off camera but it was like 2100 and something i can't find the number now um law and, or, or uh, so agencies. so okay 2, so 161 right so there that's is. so that's the thing is is 
2,161 law enforcement agencies that it has partnered with, which whatever that it's means. Partnered with. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Um, but it sounds like a lot, but if you think about it, uh, the grand scheme of law enforcement agencies, just think of your state, whatever state you live in, and how many cities there are in that state. Every single Correct. one of those cities has a law enforcement agency. Yeah. So, so, so even in a small state like Maine, you may end up with two thousand law enforcement agencies in Maine alone. I don't know, but yeah, it's really it's a very small amount. But it, it, it just it's, goes it's large. To show. It's large, but it's small. It's yeah. But and, and you got to think also of goes to show that what they're doing though. I mean, but you're yeah. But you have to think of as I'm betting most of these are very large places where it's going to have a lot more rings, right? Possibly, yeah. So like oh, yeah. Los You're Angeles, not talking rural areas, exactly. Boston, New York, um, you know, big, big cities like that. Phoenix. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Those are just one, but that incorporates millions of people. I just reread this too, Duck, and it says it's partnered with 2,161 law enforcement agencies to date, in addition to fire departments. So that's so not that even the fire departments. Exactly. I was just going to be like, to, to my understanding, that doesn't even include fire departments. That's just law enforcement agencies on well, top of. You know, what else is, is one interesting wow. about this is what other non-law enforcement agencies are they partnered with? Good no, point. because Good if they're question. like, it's like, oh, that doesn't count the fire department. Okay, so what else? What else is there? What else is it? Yeah. Health and human services, um, you know, children's what services. This? What else? What What about like, um, do you think the government could be involved for, you know, wondering for census? Oh, is that, what is it, the, well, I'm glad you, know, you like, said that. Did they really knock on the I, door? I have did another really article. Knock? I have another article. Oh, <laughs> nice. It says, the FBI worried Ring and other doorbell cameras could tip owners off to, to police searches. So the FBI is also involved with the Ring. Um, Would the FBI be considered... I don't think they're considered law enforcement, right? Yeah, they are. They are federal law enforcement. The federal yeah, room. definitely. They are definitely federal definitely. law enforcement. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. But... Um, so mm. the FBI is worried that the ring could be used to people to see law enforcement coming up, right? But yeah. I was thinking about it another way is you have sometime clandestine searches by the federal investigators, marshals, FBI, mm. uh, you know, and and the ring could technically capture these people you leave for work they move in to search your house where you don't know or mm -hmm. to plant listening devices or other things and then you have the neighbor's ring device catching you catching you doing that yeah so 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 amazon you know they're I don't know. I don't have a ring um, because yeah, of this type either. of stuff has bothered me ever since inception. Um, mm -hmm. I have a blink. It just, which I, I think I, it's probably Amazon also. I don't know. I, I've i always like, I think the concept of having a security camera around my house, I, I would love to have it. I really do. However, I've, always wondered what the consequence has been if i did put one in in place yeah so i've never put one in place because if i mean way back in the day and i don't know the security issues now as much as as i used to you know with the ring and stuff but people were hijacking cameras all left and right i mean <laughs> duck you and i are old enough that you remember the baby monitors we oh, used to yeah. pick up all sorts of stuff on the baby yeah. monitors and uh how they were getting so, hacked uh-huh they're getting hacked you could sit there and listen and so now I, I just i've never wanted to bring in a camera for that reason because i just never know so so my thing is 
I'm not even a fan of the connected alarm systems connected to the company, mm -hmm. right? I'm not even a fan of that. Uh, I'm not I've even always, a fan of like OnStar either and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I've yeah. always been a fan of the standalone system, right? You have your standalone system not connected mm -hmm. to an outside monitoring agency, not connected mm -hmm. to an outside recording agency, connecting to to your own system within your own. your own thing. So if something happens, you have access, but nobody else does. Yeah, you would have to have, I mean, the only way to do that, though, is to have it wired. You're going to have to have it wired for no. yourself. I don't think you could, I, I, there's no way I'd do wireless. Just, I don't know, that's just me. I yeah, like, it, it's not... So so here's the thing is I don't care what I don't care what security system you have. I don't care what security you put in place. I don't care what camera system you have because in the end it's only a deterrent. Mm -hmm. Think of it this way. What is probably the most guarded secrets in the world? Nuclear. Right? How many times has nuclear secrets been, been stolen or or late or whatever um, yeah. in, in the history, most. right? Like, we stole nuclear secrets. Hell, we stole nuclear scientists. I mean, yeah. like, that's like the thing, right? Is, is you're safe is only a deterrent your padlock is only a deterrent hell i learned i've took up lock picking in over the last couple of years because i got locked out of my trailer and found out how locks are pathetic they're pathetic they yes. are simply pathetic and combination locks are some of the worst oh or even worse yeah but it, if you just, have a lock on your bike it's a deterrent, right? Unless you know how to defeat it, or unless you have the time to defeat it, it, it it's gonna it's gonna do what it's supposed to do, right? When you go into class, you lock up your bike. Chances are your bike is gonna be back when you get there because the people that spend the time to learn that kind of stuff don't want your crappy bike. Don't care about the bike. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, but. It's the same, you know, with your house is, is you can do all this stuff, but in the end, it's only a deterrent. Yeah. And, and if somebody really, really, really wants your stuff, there's not a whole lot you can do about it except for sit on it and monitor it with your, you know, your second amendment. Yourself. Yeah. Right. So, so, but, but there's the thing is like, there's a difference between, um, mitigating risks versus something like amazon just going here law enforcement have it yeah. it's like say like, okay come on yes i mean because let's face it i can't hack a ring camera right so there, so if if yeah. i can't hack a ring camera mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking there's probably a thousand people in america that that can are those thousand people going to really target you with your ring camera and be like, no. this is the camera I want to watch, right? It's super unlikely. It's the same thing with, um, you know, uh, getting your computer hacked, right? Mm -hmm. Is somebody really going to hack my gaming computer that I have a bunch of videos on and whatever? The unlikelihood is no. Why? Because no. the risk of getting caught doesn't outweigh the, um, the reward. Right? Like, what are you going to get? An early copy of the bird's eye view? Okay. You know, like... <laughs> like just reach out. Okay. <laughs> we you would know. love to talk to you anyway. Just reach out. <laughs> right? Um, but but that's kind of the thing is... Is... Yeah. Is... If you think you're going to get hacked individually out of the wild blue and somebody's going to steal your bank account info and you're living check to check, Right? It's yep. it's not likely, right? You're not the one to be targeted, right? So who are they going to target? Elon Musk, or are they going to target you, who has you know ten thousand dollars in the bank, right? That's but that but that's kind of the thing is is most people take steps 
to at least deter some. Yes. Right. Yep. And and this is this is one of those things where you try to do something to help protect yourself, and then Amazon turns around and makes your information easily acceptable. Yeah. And that, that that's to me that's not Without really you, fair. Yeah. Oh, exactly. That's with, a good with, point. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and finish your point there. I was just going to say, without your knowledge, without you fully knowing and aware. Right. Because they, the, they don't notify you. That, that's exactly what we're in. This, this they, whole they article talks notify. about, sure, they provided it to law enforcement, but they don't notify you. They, they gave it to law enforcement. Like, you don't know when you're when your stuff's being used. Like, the, oh. like, and that's even that makes it even worse. Right. It's like. It's like, mm -hmm. hey, I got an email that um, they provided my camera things to law enforcement because of whatever. Okay, I, how'd you get it? I didn't really ask you to do that, but uh, maybe okay. But yeah, but but not even to yeah, like, I, yeah, not only do you not know, but yeah, we're not going to tell you if we do. Yeah, we're just not going to tell you. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. That's, I don't know, that... That's, see, that's the breach of trust part that just bothers me and why I've never... Because when Ring came out, I was like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, okay. And then yep. and then I was like, because eh, there was all those Ring, the, the people that work for Ring that were like selling videos or, you, you know, looking yep. at inappropriate video. Anyway, you know, and then, and then it, some more stuff that came out that they gave away your info or they lost your info or something. And then now we find mm -hmm. out that 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 because I think Amazon bought them or something like that. That Amazon like yeah. owns it now. I don't think they originated it, but I think they they own it no. now. And so now they're like, yeah, your your Alexa or whatever that records your voice and stuff. All that information is available to um, law enforcement. The Ring camera stuff is available to law enforcement, and it's. I can't even imagine <laughs> how much info Amazon has on you because think about it this way. Here's another, if you watched our last video, um, which I suggest you do talking about the red wave, but in that yep. video, we talk about, um, the, I think it was that video where they, or the one before that, the privacy one where they can track you with your phone. Oh yeah. Yeah. How, I think that might've been, to that okay one. how many people have amazon app on their phone yep and Guess when what? it notifies you and tells you hey it's only 10 stops away yeah so so now now you know that's your home address but if you have the amazon yeah, exactly. amazon app on your phone you go travel around now they know where you're at they know where you've been so the police Roughly can be right. all okay give me the amazon app tracking data too and amazon's like oh okay here you go <laughs> yeah so, uh, I mean, I'm not saying, it's, I'm not saying, you know, take all that stuff and freak out, you know, because most no. of us don't have anything to hide, but, but I just, th this video is more along the lines of, Hey, just so you know, right. Don't think you're as private as you think you are. Everything that Amazon knows, everything, either. <laughs> everything that Amazon it's, it's knows yours. about you is available to police. Just so you know. And you don't get, yeah. like Crow said, you don't get notified when uh, they get that stuff out. No. So don't be doing it's, bad it's, stuff and then don't worry about it. But, you know. See, and I, I used to think it was, like, really neat and interesting when, like, Siri first came out and Alexa. And, and then I was like, it's always listening. Like, I don't like that. I don't like the con Like, you don't yeah. know what it's li what it's listening to when it's listening what they're doing to it that's why when you and talk now, to your wife about going on vacation or getting something for the kids or doing something or whatever all of a sudden like your phone's like hey look at this ad we got for you it's like yeah. what? <laughs> it's a little, a little creepy yeah. it is it is a lot yeah, creepy. I, I don't i don't i just i don't know and, and then just bringing in the cameras into the homes too it's they don't have to turn on that little light that lets you know that it, the camera's on there's a way to bypass that. Uh, yeah, so we I, have I we have outside cameras that um <laughs> on my our own home system. Mm -hmm. Um but we really don't do the inside stuff. 
That's probably and and even in even my camera right here has a flap that I close when I'm not recording oh, yeah. or I'm not, my, my, not streaming. All my cameras. <laughs> I've I've actually been this close of putting one on my phone too, though. Yeah. I just. But I have. Not, I not always my set my phone anything, face down. It's also because it's the work. Like I use it for work, and because of that, I've had to put things on yeah. for work, and I've been really tempted to be like. Just to make sure, I'm really tempted to just cover that. Thing. I almost <laughs> always um, put my phone face down, but now that I'm realizing that is now there's cameras on both flipping sides now. There's camera on both sides, yeah. It does. So matter. damn it, just keep it in my pocket. Not, you can. <laughs> okay, they can cut a hole in my in pocket, back. and then I'll just stick my camera in my pocket and be out. This is what you can look at if you want to hack my phone. <laughs> like, duck you're constantly showing us your... <laughs> like, but being a dickhead <laughs> hey, i just say my front pocket and put in my back pocket what the hell crow the... <laughs> dirty mind good lord all right well with that we better get the hell out of here before we get too far on right, something else <laughs> No kidding. That just opens up the whole other door. Oh man! All right, so the camera. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so just so you know, your privacy, you know, your information isn't as safe as you think it is. Amazon's yeah. giving it away for free, but don't do nothing bad. You don't have to worry about it, I guess. And just be safe out there. Yeah. That's all I ever say. Be safe out there, everyone. <laughs> just, just be safe. Have fun. Good, right. Be good. And Leave a comment. Be safe. Share this video. Help it get seen. Much love, all. We're out. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye, everyone.